A total of 4,355 graduates have been confirmed during the second day of the university's 66th graduation. These include 3,064 from the College of Humanities and Social Science and 1,291 from the College of Education and External Studies. While addressing the joyous graduates today, the Chancellor of former Kerry University, Professor Ezra Suruma, appealed to the graduates to tackle the challenges faced by the world, especially climatic change. Lecturers at Macquarie University were also honoured with PhDs at the function. ...with the doctorate in strategic health communication. That doctorate is being offered by the Department of Journalism and Communication here at Macquarie University. Dr. Kana Kulia Dixon, a PhD holder in humanities, shared with us the significance of having PhD holders in the country. So there's a relationship between the researchers and the, the development of a nation. That's why I'm glad that I've graduated in a PhD and of course in the premier university in Uganda, Makere, and I'm going to contribute to the development nation by researching and providing good and high level analysis for the challenges we, we face. Meanwhile, Dr. Aisha Nachiwala Simbatia from the Directorate of Psychology and Communication aired her opinion on the recent rift between journalists and parliament. And I feel that journalists should uh, continuously strive to improve their qualification. However, uh, that said, I really don't feel that uh, what the Parliament of Uganda has recommended for uh, non-degree holder journalists to get out of uh, covering Parliament is fair. I really feel that that is not their responsibility as Parliament. I feel that that is a responsibility of the journalists themselves and the media houses that employ them. However, degree holders also shared with us their opinions on how they plan to address the unabated levels of unemployment in the country. Me personally, from the things I've, from the experiences I've collected from campus, through the coursework,s through the group discussions, through the tests that we have done, and through the many many things I've done. I believe those things are just enough to help me get forward. I've got new friends, I've got, I've, I was able to complete my course and uh, I think I'll be able to, to get a job because I believe in myself, uh, I have good communication skills, so by that I think I'll be able to get a job. The graduation ceremony is to continue up to Friday this week with a total of 14,318 graduates expected to feature from various disciplines. This report was compiled by Andrew Kagwa for WBS-TV.